The Mali Empire was founded by Sunjata Keita, whose name means Lion Prince, when he led a revolt against the kingdom of Soso and its co cool king Sumanguru in 1235 CE. It was located in what is today Mali, Mauritania, Niger, Senegal, Gambia, Guinea, Guinea-Bissau and Ivory Coast. After capturing the old Ghana capital Kumbisali from Sumanguru's kingdom of Soso, Sunjata went ahead to unify numerous smaller Malinke kingdoms to form the empire, which he named Mali, meaning the place where the king lives. Leaders of these smaller kingdoms which he had consolidated honored him with the title Marijata, which translates as Lion King. Niani, his hometown, was made the capital city of the empire. Sunjata maximized the trans-Saharan trade routes of the collapsed Ghana Empire and the Mali Empire prospered due to trade, especially in salt and gold. In fact, half of the world's gold supply in the 14th century is said to have originated from the Mali Empire. Timbuktu, one of its cities, became one of the most important trade centers in pre-colonial Africa, where goods such as textiles, sugar, kola nuts, cereals, spices, beads and even slaves were traded. These were battered for or paid with gold, ivory or cowries. The emperors of the Mali Empire had the title Mansa, meaning king. The empire reached its zenith in the 14th century during the reign of Mansa Khan Khan Musa, who doubled its size. Consequently, the Mali Empire came to include many different tribes whose leaders paid tribute to Mansa Musa. Coupled with control over salt and gold mines in the territory, Mansa Musa and the Mali Empire became exceedingly rich. Even today, Mansa Musa is considered to be the richest person to have ever lived. Islam spread into the Mali Empire through Arab merchants who traded there. As a result, people who lived in commercial centers of the Mali Empire such as Niani and Timbatu converted to Islam. Mansa Musa himself was a devout Muslim and therefore made a pilgrimage to Mecca in 1324 CE. He is said to have embarked on this pilgrimage with a massive amount of gold which he gave away as gifts to people along the journey. Indeed, Mansa Musa is said to have given out so much gold that the price of gold crashed for some years. He was accompanied by over 60,000 people on this extravagant pilgrimage. The Mali Empire, Timbuktu especially, became the center of knowledge during his reign as Man Samusa brought scholars and architects to establish universities, libraries and mosques in the empire such as Timbuktu's Great Mosque, which still stands today. He also funded the building of the famous Sankara Madrasa, which became one of the greatest centers of learning in the Islamic world and the largest library in Africa. At a point in time, the library of the Sankara Madrasa was estimated to have housed 700,000 manuscripts. Despite the spread of Islam in the commercial centers of the Mali Empire, Arab chronicler Ibn Battuta observed that those in the hinterland still practiced animism. In terms of architecture, their buildings were made up of beaten earth which were reinforced with wood. However, richer members of society used stones to build houses. The Mali Empire began to decline gradually after the death of Mansa Musa around 1337 CE due to incompetent leadership and succession disputes. Also, competing trade routes opened up at other places, breaking its monopoly over trade. Nevertheless, the final straw that broke the camel's back was when Sony Ali of the Songhai Empire captured most of the Mali Empire's territories by the late 15th century. What remained of the empire was absorbed into the Moroccan Empire in the 17th century. So, that was the end of the rich Mali Empire. What do you also know about the Mali Empire? Tell us in the comments section below.